वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ मेट्रिक्स प्लस योर टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर टेस्ट एंड मेजरमेंट इक्विपमेंट वी हैव एन एंटायर रेंज कवरिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल एन डी टी एनवायरमेंटल एंड सर्विंग इक्विपमेंट केटरिंग टू अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट अल्ट्रासोनिक थिकनेस मीटर विच इज यूजफुल फॉर मेजरिंग द थिकनेस ऑफ मेटलिक सबस्टेट्स एज वेल एज लॉट्स ऑफ हार्ड प्लास्टिक सो दिस इज मेट्रिक्स प्लस यू टी एम फाइव ए प्लस अल्ट्रासोनिक थिकनेस मीटर let's look at its contents now the box is a hard box and it has a beautiful design it has the features listed here inside the box there will be a hard pouch which is very easy to carry so even if it falls it won't hamper the meter the first thing once we open the box is the instrument so this is the instrument and this is the probe which is already attached to it it is detachable of course so this is the sensor this is the main sensor as you can see and this is the meter other things that are included are the couplant so this is the couplant that we use and it is basically glycerin any oil also can be used for this but glycerin is widely available in the market this is uh, useful for applying on the substrate where the reading is to be taken next we have the charger the best thing is this comes with inbuilt battery and it supports type c charging so this is the charging cable and lastly we have the instruction manual the instruction manual is pretty exhaustive it includes everything how to use and how to maintain the meter make sure you have all these contents once you get the new box let's understand how this instrument works this is the probe this has the transmitter and the receiver this generates an ultrasonic wave inside the material and the time of reflection is measured to measure the distance now let's see how to use this instrument so we turn on this is the switch on button as you can see i pressed and the instrument is on this is the default screen first i'll just show how to measure using this meter so first we connect the probes there are two connections and you can connect anywhere there is no limit on if you can connect this here or here anywhere you can connect it but it should be tight so like once i connect this i have to tighten this screws you should make sure that it is tight the couplant which is given which was given in the meter this has to be applied everywhere that the measurement is to be taken we'll test on this master block so this is the master block which is already there in the meter this is 4 mm in thickness and we'll use this to measure we apply the couplant here it should not be too much and it should not be too less just enough so that it spreads over the surface to be measured after that first what we'll do is we'll select the material this is steel here if i press this button this button has all the inbuilt materials which can be measured by this meter as you can see there is steel stainless brass etc and the best thing is if you are using an alloy to measure then you can also set a custom sound velocity help you choose the best accuracy for that material so we'll select steel I went on to steel and this is the enter button I'll press enter the sound velocity inside the steel material is shown usually generally it is 5920 meter per second as it is shown here so we'll press enter again here you can see the material is steel and its sound velocity is this once the material is selected and the correct sound velocity is there we'll what we'll do is the probe is just to be pressed tightly on the surface to be measured i'll just keep the probe i'll spread the couplant a bit and then i'll just press it you can see the value is 3.79 mm now because it is a bit out of the tolerance range what i'll do is i'll also show how to calibrate this meter self calibration uh, option is available here so to calibrate the meter cal button it is written here we we'll long press this button for 3 seconds it will enter into calibration mode so i long press this here as you can see please calibrate is written this means that right now the meter is in calibration mode 
please do not calibrate on any other in material because it will lose its accuracy if it is calibrated on something else it should be calibrated only on the master block which is given here so once it is in calibration mode i'll just press the probe the value will be shown it's okay any value is okay after this the probe once the probe is pressed i'll press the enter button as you can see finished is shown so that means the instrument is now calibrated to check if it is calibrated properly i'll again press the i'll measure this block and you can see perfect 4 mm is shown so that is how you can calibrate the instrument and if there are the values are drifting from the actual values then you can calibrate it is not necessary to calibrate every time you use it only when it is out of the tolerance range you think the sound velocity is basically the velocity with which the sound wave travels inside the material you might have alloys which you don't know the sound velocity of once you get to know then only you can measure it accurately so we'll see how to get the sound velocity to measure accurately so let's say this is the material whose sound velocity you do not know of we know that the uh, thickness of this material is 2 mm we already know that but we do not know what is the sound velocity if i have the same different specimens of the same material how can i measure that without knowing the sound velocity so i'll use this to first get the sound velocity i have calculated this to be 2 mm let's see how we can do that so you can see this is 1.63 mm right now but this is of 2 mm so we measure this now the probe will be in the air we have to press the up and down button to its actual thickness the thickness of this is 2 mm so we'll do that here you can see the instruction is given press up and down to the to adjust to the actual velocity i long press the up button to increment it faster once this is 2 mm once this is the actual value of the material then i'll press the enter button uh, you can see there will be the sound velocity here which is the back calculated one once the sound velocity is back calculated then you can measure it using the probe you can see that uh, you can see it's 2 mm now you can use this back calculated sound velocity to measure the thickness of all other specimens of the same material the maintenance of this meter mainly requires that you keep the meter and the probe clean of the coupling that you use and if you do not use for a longer period of time you charge it at least once in 3 months for 2 hours so that the battery won't be dead it has a universal type c charger so you can use any mobile phone charger to charge it the socket can be 5 volts and 2 amps or 1 amps is also fine how we can clean the instrument is using a dry cloth the probe should be clean there should be no remnant of oil on the probe same for the meter because the oil can seep inside the probe and it might damage the pcb ultrasonic thickness meters are used for the thickness of all metals and even hard plastics so this can be used in almost all industries whether it be ship building whether it be oil and gas any metal manufacturing castings foundries ldpe hdpe tanks any pipes this meter can make it easier for you to measure the thickness of your materials So now you got to know everything about Matrix Plus, UTM Five Plus, how to use it, where to use it, and how it can be useful for your application. This model is the most basic model of ultrasonic thickness meter we have. We have other ranges up to flaw detection, which can help you to know the pits, the bubbles, everything inside the material for better flaw detection. So we have an entire range of ultrasonic thickness meters right from 300 mm is the minimum range till 600 mm and we also have a through coating ultrasonic thickness meter for measuring the coating thickness as well as the base layer thickness so please do contact us in case of any thickness measuring requirement we at matrix plus are not only about products we are your trusted advisors to make sure that you get the right instrument as per your specific application we have our authorized channel partners spread out across india so make sure that you ask for the authorized channel partner certification before purchasing additionally we also have online selling channels 
Our commitment goes beyond sales as we provide a comprehensive after sales service. For any assistance or help, please contact us through the link given in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.